You know, when I was six, I went to weddings. We lived across from the church. I thought weddings were the most amazing things. I would see weddings happening at a church and I thought, wow, what's going on? Everyone looks great. All the cars are decorated in streamers. There was confetti. There was somebody arriving in white looking amazing. And there was this ceremonial, great sense of occasion and excitement. And that's why I do what I do, because of weddings. When you design something for somebody who's getting married, and no matter who they are, uh, it's such an important moment in their lives that you feel the weight of the responsibility of the request. I had worked with the Duchess of Cornwall, who was then Mrs. Parker Bowles, uh, previously. It was a thrill to design a headdress for her because it was a momentous historical moment for everybody concerned. The process was really quite simple because the Duchess left the headdress to me and she put her trust in my ability. The inspiration was to draw with feathers something that encapsulated the spirit of the occasion. So really when I'm using those materials, I'm drawing with them. I treat them as uh, one would draw with a pencil, except I use the shape of all the feathers, which are all, com all cut by hand and all shaped by hand, to follow that sort of direction. It really was based around the fact that it all was balancing on nothing. So it looked like it was kind of hovering on the side of the head, but it actually came full circle. And it sort of looked a little bit like wheat or old things, um, perfect and natural. I work for many types of people, from 20-year-old girls who've never worn a hat before, to a mom going to a wedding, to a pop star, to a movie star, to a member of the royal family. And the difference with the latter is that uh, we see it a lot, continuously, forever. So it was important that it flattered the wearer. Selena Blow came via Isabella Blow, who was my great friend and mentor and muse. Selena's not a sort of shy and retiring bride. She's not afraid of a strong hat. And uh, people that are fearless can get away with more. I mean, some people can make the most extraordinary hat look like a little pillbox, and Selena has that possibility. When you design something for somebody, you design something to, that works with the personality of the person, and also you are gently encouraging them to go maybe a little step further than they'd planned to go where Selena didn't really need any encouragement at all. She was encouraging me. <laughs> Hats are part of special moments in people's lives, and, and there is no more special moment than when people get married. You know, weddings embody a sort of fantasy moment in everybody's life, when, if it's the person that's getting married or the family. So it's not really just something that's on their head. It's everything they've dreamed of is on their head.